Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Hillary just screwed the Democrats. Admits what many of them have in common. Hillary Clinton spoke at yet another event, but this one was a little different. While trying to defend her failure and blaming others, she threw the rest of the Democrats under the bus. Hillary did some major damage after she admitted something damning about her party. We're not exactly sure why Hillary Clinton keeps showing up. She was utterly defeated in 2016 when, defying all odds, America elected Donald Trump to the White House. The corrupt liberal's dream of ruining America was finally destroyed. But instead of skulking away into the darkness, Hillary continues to shove her face into the camera. She wrote a book, trying to explain what happened. We know what happened. Donald Trump humiliated her. Hillary has traveled the world, making excuses for her loss. I guess she still can't believe her 40-year plan to take over the U.S. was thwarted. Every time she appears on a talk show or panel, she has a new person to blame for her failure. Gosh, is that what feminist leadership looks like? Do you just blame others for your shortcomings? That doesn't make the rest of American women look good. Maybe she should just keep her mouth shut. But in one recent interview, her constant blame game might have actually done some good. When asked about her struggles winning over Democrats in the primaries, she spilled the beans. She admitted that she didn't get as much support from Democratic voters because she claimed to be a capitalist. And, because so many Democrats are socialists, this hurt her chances. It's hard to know, but I mean if you're in the Iowa caucuses and 41% of Democrats are socialists or self-described socialists, and I'm asked are you a capitalist? And I say, yes, but with appropriate regulation and appropriate accountability. You know, that probably gets lost in the oh my gosh, she's a capitalist. Clinton said during a conversation with Alan Murray, the chief content officer at Time Incorporated, source, Breitbart. What? A lot of Democrats are openly socialist? Am I hearing that right? Why does Hillary look like she's being held together by a robotic frame? I mean, we've talked a lot about her potential health problems, but each time she appears, she looks more and more artificial. Scary, but let's not neglect what she just admitted. At least in Iowa, 41% of Democrats are self-described socialists. Really? That many? You mean to tell me that this party is comprised of so many people against our basic economic structure? That a large portion of Democrats want to turn America into the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics? We already knew that. It should come as no surprise that many Democrats want to destroy private wealth, ownership of land, and individual freedoms in favor of socialism. Former President Barack Obama tried to socialize health care. Every heavy-handed government regulation inches us closer to a socialist dictatorship. Conservatives have been saying that all along. Democrats have evaded this fact by claiming they're pro-business. Even Hillary had to dance around this sticky subject, saying she was capitalist, with a big butt. That's because she needed to convince the commies in Iowa that, while she's in the pocket of big Wall Street businesses, she's in favor of massive government oversight that would destroy small businesses. It's simply amazing to hear it from the wicked witch herself. For so long, Democrats pretended to embrace capitalism. But the truth finally comes out. They don't want private citizens to be rich and successful. They don't want us owning our own homes, cars, or other property. They want an all-powerful government that decides who gets to work, where we can live, and what we can do with our money. Along with that goes what we can say, how, or if, we worship, and what rights we get to keep. Be sure to share this clip with everyone you know. This is the real Democratic Party. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.